Okay, maybe, maybe that's just a giant island. No, we, I mean, we don't have any giant. Whoa. What is, that is a wave. Holy crap. Okay. That's way bigger than I thought. I thought it'd be like little waves going up to a big wave like this. Holy crap. We might be good though. We're a pretty big boat. Ride that wave, man. Oh, we're sinking the back. Oh, we might be sinking. I, it's hard to tell. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Maybe we should have slowed down a bit. What's going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Stormworks, ladies and gentlemen. This is a game we briefly checked out when it was in alpha. Now it's in early access, and I gotta say, it's quickly becoming one of the most imp impressive vehicle creation games that I have ever seen. Now, uh, today we're gonna be downloading some different creations and uh, doing some missions with them. If you don't know what Stormworks is all about, basically we're search and rescue. Is that a freaking bird? Bird, get off my roof, you little jerk! All right, sorry about that, guys, but yeah, that bird is just, like, chilling up there on the glass. Just don't poop on it, please, buddy. But yes, this is a search and rescue game where you can create the vehicles yourself, and then you have to go do select missions. We're gonna be doing some of those missions today, checking out some workshop-related vehicles, and the first one I figured we'd check out was something that we've seen before in other vehicle creation games. This is the PBY-5A Catalina. It's a very beautiful plane that can land on water and, of course, on land as well. So before we uh, queue up a mission here, let's actually go check out this thing and uh, see what makes this game so good. I gotta say, man, uh, I, it's been a long time since I last checked out this game, and I am so glad I came back to it because it's quickly becoming one of the most impressive vehicle creators out there. So yes, here we are inside the Catalina. There should be a button. Uh, there it is right behind here, or we can close that down. Uh, I figured I'd show you this plane first, and l I mean, look at how detailed it is. I mean, we got the passenger seats here. We got a bunch of different stuff that I probably shouldn't play with. Oh, we can turn the heaters on, the heat, the inside. Sometimes we uh, rescue passengers that are cold, so that's actually something that we need to do. Uh, but yes, a lot of customization. We got beds here that we can sleep in to pass the time. Looks like this is an equipment slot, so thermal clothing, diving equipment, parachute, all the fun stuff. Ooh, man, parachute. That might be fun to try later on. And, of course, being that this is a Catalina, it's also weaponized, so we do got um, some weapons in the back here. It looks like a back gun, front guns, and, of course, the cockpit with co-pilot and pilot. I'm playing solo, so we're going to try and do this alone. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, is that actually a med kit, or is it just designed to look like one? I think it's just designed to look like one. Also, there's also even a gunner down at the bottom here in the front. So if we do, you know, have anything attacking us... We should be okay, but that's not the point of this game. We, 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 we gotta go save people today. Alright, so let's go get a mission. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of this plane real quick. I, that's the one thing I don't like about this is the hatches are kind of in a weird spot. Now, if we grab that handle, we should be able to get out of here, and there we go. So yeah, the planes like to move for some reason. That's my one complaint, which is why I got out of the plane again, because we're going to have to respawn it so we have a nice straight run. But let's get a mission so we actually have something to do. Okay, so we have a mission to rescue some maintenance workers on a lighthouse. I thought that'd be a fun one to try out because it's just a simple rescue mission. Now, there's some way to track this. Uh, very much a new player here, guys, so bear with me as we learn how to play. How long do we have to do this? 30 minutes, and the village is 8.3 kilometers away. Maintenance workers are 15.6 kilometers away that way. So we got to bring them back to their village. Now, I'm going to uh, respawn this real quick. And hopefully this goes well first try. We'll see how this goes. This could be very bad or very good. I'm feeling good about myself. I, I think I can take this thing off. We'll see though real quick. Oh god damn. I, I, I can't even climb in. To be fair, this handle's in a very weird position. But there we go. Back on top. Oh my god, I'm so excited to fly this thing. Little nervous because, uh, yeah, I think you're supposed to have a co-pilot with this one, obviously. I mean, there's two seats here. We should be okay, though. So we got engine left, engine right, collective, that's to reverse. We got our floats, we got our gears. Uh, anything else we need? Heaters, searchlights, all that fun stuff. Over on the co-pilot, I can still use this stuff. Water start, um, alter, I don't know what half of these buttons are. All right, let's just go for it. How about that? That sounds fun. Oh, try and straighten this. Don't hit the wing, don't hit the wing. That would be very bad. And look at that. I got out of the hangar. Go me. 
All right, I am going to change the time of day just because, uh, yeah, not really excited about going at night. So let's just go to the morning time here. Oh, God. I'm trying to do too many things at once here, clearly. That's all right. I don't think we need the full runway. Let's just straighten this out to the best of our ability. That's actually perfect right there. Well, not, not really perfect, but here we go. Full throttle. I think we should be okay. Lift it. Oh, beautiful. First try in a takeoff. I mean, I will freaking take it. Okay, so we're going to put up those gears now. And yeah, we are smooth sailing now. Let's get over there. I guess we should put our floaters on. Well, I don't know if there's like drag in this game. But I was thinking about turning on my floaters now. Is that, yeah, we got floats that come out from the sides of our wings. I mean, this is a seriously beautiful plane. All right, all we got to do now is go over to the maintenance workers. And I have no idea if they're on an island or if they're in the water. I mean, it's a lighthouse, so I'm assuming they're on the island. Uh, we're just going to come in by boat or plane. What the hell am I saying? Oh, well, I mean, this is technically a boat plane. So, yeah, I, I, I got confused because I'm landing on the water. Okay, and it looks like, are we going further? Yeah, we are indeed going over this island here. This looks to be, wow, we're going real fast here. This is so cool. Coast Guard Outpost. We got to go where we've never gone before. So this is exciting. Is it two spots? No, it's one spot. I don't know why there's a number two on it. I'm assuming that's two guys we got to pick up. Should I do it, guys? Oh, yeah, I'm so going to do it. Okay, this is not, okay, I just, I just, uh, this is why I shouldn't have done it. All right. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that low. Okay, hold on. Hold on here. God damn it. I really wanted to go through that, too. That's all right. We we didn't break it. That's the important part. I am stalling it, though. Oh, God. I'm stalling. Come on. Straighten out. Oh, crap. Oh, this is not... Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm down for a loop. <laughs> oh, God. This is bad. This is... Oh, God. Oh, here we go again. Deja vu. Okay, you know what? Let's do this right. Let's turn off the engines because we need to, you know, chill out for a second here. Jesus. All right. Are we good now? Are we... I think we're okay. Let's turn these engines back on. I wonder if I... I probably should have just lowered the power. I totally forgot I got to do that as well. But there we go. That's a much better start. And we will change those propellers hopefully back. Did I press the button? trying to do it with the uh, number pad on the side but clearly that didn't work and propellers are back normal okay so we wasted a couple minutes there we should be okay though and you know I'm, I'm still freaking trying it this time though we're not gonna hit the water oh god this is a bad idea this is a real bad idea <gasps> oh watch out wing oh god damn it all right there we go there we go come on full throttle full throttle just get off the rock oh that's not good that's not how planes are supposed to be all right that's what I get for being cocky, man. We should have just went for it and not tried to go through that. We, we got close, though. Let's be fair. Well, that sounds fun. You know what? Let's do this one instead. I uh, didn't actually toggle this one on. You can totally customize the missions, by the way. But uh, this one, sometimes they just come in randomly. So this is a mission that came in. Uh, we have a down helicopter. A helicopter has gone down over the ocean, transferring a crew to the Brilliant Fields oil rig. Two pilots, two passengers were on board. I think we have enough seats for that. Rescue the survivors and transport them to the hospital for critical treatment. So that actually sounds really, really fun. Uh, so we're going to give this another try. This time, I'm not going to be an idiot. So hopefully this goes a little bit better. Oh, God, we're sideways already. All right, we really don't got much room in this hangar, but there we go. Attempt number two. And this time, how far out are we? Uh, 3.4 km, so that's really not that bad, and 7.4 that way. We probably don't even need a plane for that. A boat would be the better option, but I, I like a challenge, damn it. Also, I put on vehicle damage. I don't think we had on vehicle damage before. That or this is a very durable vehicle. So now, bad things should hopefully happen if, you know, bad things do happen. So uh, at least I figured out how to take off with this thing. I don't know how to land it on the water, let's be honest, though. So hopefully that goes well. Trying to slow down the engines here. There we go. You know what? Let's speed them up a bit. I don't want to get too far away from them. Yeah, there we go. And turn them down. All right, I'm here to save you guys. Oh, God, I did it. I somehow did it. Okay, let's not jump up in my seat. Let's relax, buddy. All right, we're going to turn off the engines. That way it doesn't fly away. Let's go figure out how to save these. Oh, God, how am I going to bring these guys aboard, though? I'm going to do it one at a time. That's going to be fun. So you got to grab this handle. So one bad thing about... Oh, God damn it. The one bad thing about this plane is trying to get in and out of it. Eh, not the easiest thing, but hey, I'm up for a challenge, man. All right, there we go. Now, I did spawn in sharks as well, so that's a little bit of a worry. Let's just let it happen, though, you know? If, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. What's up, guys? I'm here to save the day. 
you got, why don't you just hang out on the on the boat, you know? All right, I'm gonna get them to all follow me. Uh, so these guys should follow me now. Now they're not gonna know how to get up though, so I gotta actually carry them aboard. Look at this beautiful boat plane though, I love it. All right, come on, get on. There. <laughs> God, I love that I just like manhandle everybody. I mean, I guess that's the point of search and rescue. I just threw you off, I was trying to grab the handle. All right, you're, you're coming first. Let's go first person. And let's see if these guys are smart enough. What's up? Don't don't get eaten by sharks, please. Okay, these guys are trying their Oh, damn it. I just jumped over. Okay. All right. So we're back on. Yeah, these guys do not know, know how to go in. Please tell me I have enough seats. So I'm going to put you Can I put him here? Oh, I can't put him in the waist gunner seat. This guy can't be a gunner. Oh, see, this is the problem with this plane. It's not technically a passenger plane. Let's try it. No. Am I still holding someone? Wait, what? Oh, wait. What the hell? I didn't even notice that seat was up there. So we got a flight engineer seat up here. Jesus Christ, the more I look at this this plane, the more interesting it is. Uh, I clearly somehow left my guy outside. I hope he didn't get eaten by a shark or something. God, the hard part's going to be getting these guys inside. Okay, let's see. Can I get that? Okay, I can grab them. Perfect. So I don't need to go out into the water at least now. Can these guys go in non-passenger seats? So, yeah. All right, there we go. We're okay because we only had one passenger seat. I was a little worried there for a second. But yeah, now it's no big deal. We just grab everybody. All right, come on in my beautiful boat, plane thing. There you go. You can be the waste gunner. Please don't actually shoot it, though, because that would be bad. All right, what other seats do we got here? Do you, you know what? Do you, do you want to be my co-pilot? You can be my co-pilot, buddy. There we go. Now I actually got someone, hopefully, that will help me. We got a couple more seats here, so we definitely can hold quite a few people in this thing. There we go. We got our crew, though. Let's get the hell out of here. And get them to the hospital. All right. So we're good. Just got to turn the engines on. And let's get this thing in the air. All in a day's work, man. Saving lives. Somebody's got to do it. Okay. Pull those things down. Beauty freaking full. All right. Hospital 2.3 clicks out. Let me actually see if I can get visual. So we're going to have to go to the other side. Uh, oh, actually, is this the hospital? Which one's the hospital? Or is it further out? I'm thinking that's probably it. I'm not actually sure though, so let's actually just go by visual. So 1.3 clicks out, yeah. This one's definitely not it, so I'm just trying to see visually. Okay, so there's a, there's docks everywhere, so. Ah! Oh god! Okay, everybody okay? Jesus Christ, I did it again. Okay, th this is why I, I, I need an actual co pilot, man. Alright, not sure really where I'm gonna land here, just trying to get visual. There's a helicopter landing spot. I don't think we can use that, though. So, yeah, we're just going to go... Whoa, easy now on the rudder. Jesus, that thing is really aggressive. Um, I'm going to wrap back around and see if we can land on this side and bring these guys in. Okay, pull it over hard. It's going to be a pretty rough landing, I feel like. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to pull down those engines a bit for the second so we slow down. All right, pull them back up, put them back up. There we go, there we go. Get it down, get it down. Nice and low. And again, kill the engines. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Okay, you know what? We might need to swim a bit, guys. Because this... Okay, engine's back a little bit. This was not the best. But that's why I love the Catalina, man. It doesn't need to be the best. I guess technically we could just kind of boat over there, so let's do that. All right, but here we go. Look at that. Can't get much better, man. Right by the dock and everything. Going to... Uh, Throttle this thing down in a second here. And man, I gotta say, for my first, you know, mission, I didn't kill anybody. We we only crash landed a couple times. That was pretty damn good, man. All right, engines all the way down. Engines off, and it's time to save the day for you guys. All right, come on, you're coming with me. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, we can only hold one at a time, so I'm just gonna do this one at a time. All right, you guys just hang out. Don't shoot any guns or anything, please. How do I get out of this one? Okay, there is a handle back here. Dude, get on my back! All right, Jesus, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong there, but every now and then I just lose one of my uh, passengers. Can I not grab a handle while having someone? Okay, I can. I have no idea why I keep dropping these guys. All right, and now I gotta swing myself so I don't fall down the hole. What the hell is going on right now? Gee, okay. Ah! There we go. Okay, drop. Why did I drop you too? I, I, I don't understand the whole holding thing. All right, but we're okay. We, we got we got the first one. Might take me 17 minutes to unload these guys. Where the hell? Okay, there is a ladder here. I love these characters, man. They're just the greatest. All right, in the world's smallest hospital. Here you go, buddy. Oh, oh, there's a 
glass door there. Okay, I guess I just dropped them in. Should I put them in bed? Ah, oh, there you go, buddy. I think the guy on my back is, like, seriously dead. Like, he is not moving at all. All right, well, hopefully this place can fix you up, my friend. And look at that. That's how you earn $12,000, guys. Almost thirteen grand. Not too bad. All in a day's work for the old Catalina. Isn't that thing beautiful? Ah, oh, those searchlights are so good. All right, and I thought we'd take a look at one more creation. Now, we played with a plane. Let's go check out a very impressive boat. I'm actually lagging a little bit because this thing's pretty damn complex. Now, I've never used this. It's called the Nordland-class multi-purpose vessel. Um, yeah, it's just a big boat. I thought we would try that out. I have no idea what I'm doing, clearly. So, this is uh, an advanced mode boat, and I can quickly see that I'm getting overwhelmed already. So, let's just kind of explore it. See if we can uh, learn everything. Cargo door right here. Oh my god. The creations in this game are just the best. Oh my god. All the passengers are down. This is too big. I'm, I'm gonna get lost. Uh, and we got some clothing. You know what? Let's put on some thermal clothing. I, I, I've been naked this whole damn time. We may as well throw some clothing on myself. Alright, what do we got over here? Stairs to probably where we got to drive the boat. Nope. Okay, we're outside in the front now. Don't know how we got here, but I'm going back inside. Jesus. Okay, so this is where all the meat and potatoes are. Holy crap. This looks amazing. Let's remember, this is made by one person, man. Searchlight pivot? I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that's how to, like, rotate it. Oh, there's just too many buttons. Blow rear? Sounds like a porno. Jesus. Bridge nightlight? Bridge lights? Yeah, turn on all the lights. Why not? Panel lights? That's all fun. God, this is, like, amazing. Let me go back down just to see what else is down here. Because we didn't see it all, probably. What can we do up here? Looks like we got a crane over here we can use to pick up things. Uh, grab connector. Yeah, so some sort of connector thing for certain missions. There's a lot of different types of missions in this, by, by the way, guys. So we're just scratching the surface in this first episode. If you guys like this, let me know. Or hit that like button to show your support. What is going on with this thing? I have to hold it? Why am I going to hold this one? But yeah, let me know if you guys like this, because I would love to do more, obviously, and it's all up to if you guys enjoy this or not. Alright, I think that's pretty much it. We got this door over here that doesn't seem to be a door at all. This is a... Oh, I was wondering if there was a basement. I freaking knew it, man. Holy... Oh, why? why? It's pushing me back, guys. It's actually... Pu it's at, There's like a force field. Let me in! Okay, I'm not sure... Like, look at this. I'm fighting it. Well, we can see down here, at least. I'm not sure why I can't go down. Is that water? I'm not, I don't get it. I don't get it at all, but we don't need to go down there. We just need the pilot seat. Oh, I'm holding on to the door. That's why. I'm smart. Okay, now we can actually explore it. So is this more passenger seats? Yeah, we got, this is, this is the bottom of the barrel passenger seats, but there's a lot of passenger seats on this boat. Uh, so this is good for large scale missions. Fire suppression lock. There's fire suppression locks on this thing. Engine stuff, a lot of engine stuff. Fuel. We're gonna need fuel, so let's turn that on. Oh, that's fuel tank one, fuel tank two, right? Well, we'll turn on both for funsies. Back here, I have no idea what any of this stuff is, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, push side button two-sided. Oh, what's in there? Okay, <laughs> I'm just having fun at this point. Exploring this is, like, overwhelming, to say the least, and it kind of shows you how complex the creations are in this game. Dial lighting. I mean, you got everything in this. Okay, so I, I, I put the gas on. Engine room fire spray. Okay, we've already seen that. What are these? Are these beds? I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, we got little living quarters even. Jesus. Okay, we have the helm and then the navigator with a water cannon. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of fire fighting um, missions, so this would obviously be good for that. Okay, but what do we got? Throttle, gear selector. Simple enough. We got manual pitch control, GPS input pitch stabilization, list stabilization. I know what about 50% of this is. Anchor up, anchor down, so we can anchor. Anchor magnet, water cannon, so he's dealing with all that stuff. All I need to deal with really is the throttle, right? Yeah, see if we can just do this thing. So let's uh, throttle it up. Gear selector, I have no idea. Okay, so it actually shows it in the back over here. So we're in neutral, we can put it in the one. How do I turn this thing on though? Docking proximity warning is on. Can we just have like a key and then a throttle? Because that, that's the kind of stuff I can deal with. Uh, what do we got up here? Fuel. Okay, fuel on. Fuel on. Fuel on. Fuel on. 
Serial lights, sure, why not? Navigation lights. Ha! Huh. Ha ha! Foghorns! I got it! I got it! I think I'm only using electrical engines. Is that all I need to use? I have no idea if this is full power or not, but we have some sort of engines on. Sounds like they're dying now. Okay, so we actually have to hold it. That's fine. I mean, I am technically driving the boat, so let's do that. But holy crap! I got it to move. Can I steer it? Uh, is it steering? I mean, it, it's a boat. It's really, really, really freaking slow. So you, you never really know. But I gotta say, man, like, just going through this boat, looking at the amount of detail in this thing, like, there's even more controls on the front. No idea what those things do, but I'm assuming it has to do with the anchor or the water cannon. I really want to try that water cannon, by the way. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now is you can actually spawn in bad weather. There's, you know, pretty crazy storms in this game, so I wanted to get into a big boat for that reason to see if we can maybe survive a storm, because that sounds damn fun. Toggle button. You know I'm toggling that crap. Whoa! Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's on. That button did, did its job. It submerged the rear deck. So what I'm thinking is maybe you can use this to load up boats. Like, I don't know why else you would submerge the deck, but it can do it, and that's damn impressive. Now, I'm, okay, you know what? Let's, let's turn that off, because I'm just looking on how to turn on the main freaking engines. Uh-oh. I kind of want to do it again. I'm assuming that's water. Okay, we, we, we have things going off like crazy, as you can see now. Now, I'm back in the engine room. I can't seem to hit these buttons. So, I'm not really sure. I've turned the fuel on, like we saw before, on all four engines now. I didn't realize there was four. Uh, oh, I'm sorry about this beeping, by the way, guys. <laughs> this thing's going crazy. So, I'm kind of stuck. Wait, wait, what's that? Um, fire suppression lock. Okay, so that's not important. Well, it's important, but we, did, we don't need it right now. Okay, so, uh, respawn the boat just because it was beeping like crazy and driving me nuts. We need to equalize the fuel tanks. I saw there's a guide on how to do it. The next step we need to do is turn on either, either main or starter battery. That's one thing I haven't been able to find yet. Okay, is this a battery? Toggle button two-sided. I have no idea where I am right now. What the hell is this place right now? All right, well... Oh, Jesus, more compartments. Great, okay. Key button, diesel intake pump. Oh, where the hell am I right now? Connector release, pump out jet fuel. I'm not seeing anything about batteries. Fluid connector. Oh, what is this? Av, av gas. No idea what that means. Let's go over and see if maybe the batteries are in here. Oh. Hey, look. I'm outside now. <laughs> Oh, uh, grab electric connector. Okay. Electric's good. We're getting closer to a battery, at least. Oh! God damn it, these are the batteries down here. See, I don't know what I'm looking for, so... We have the starter batteries. It's actually... There's a, there's a, a note here that tells you how to do it, too. So, two. Close starter or main electrical circuit? Um, well, I guess we'll do main. 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 Okay. Open fuel valves. Okay. So, we got fuel. We're gonna open those suckers up. My god, these steps involved on starting this thing is just overwhelming. Thank god there's a list that I've found now. Alright, the orange is revs per second, so obviously you can see that these three are indeed on. So, very hard to tell once one engine's on. You can't hear the rest, but yes, they are definitely on now. Thank god I got engine power! Alright, so we're going to, uh... Gear select it. We'll put it into one right now, obviously. Oh, it's already going. That's right, because we got engine power. Oh, God. Okay, um, there we go. Oh, we're going real fast. Just for gear one, we'll be able to make this puppy purr. I feel so good right now. I actually was able to do it, and look at that. The smokestacks are going. We are getting the hell out of here. Let's put it up into the next few gears. Hell, let's just go, let's go crazy here. We're going to up the throttle. There we go. Oh, crap. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just chill with that for a second. All right, this is more like it though. We actually got speed. All right, bring on the gears. Let's see how fast we can make this thing. Why not go? Actually, we should probably we might actually stall the damn engine. So let's do this slowly. Pick up speed. We'll slowly change the gears. All right, we're pretty much maxed out. Gear three. Here we go. Okay, yeah, knots. There we go. We're going 32 knots right now. But I mean, 33 knots. We're already long gone right now. This is actually working really, really good now. All right, let's up it until the final. Oh, actually, there's six gears. Jesus, I thought there was only five. All right, we slowed it down a little bit, but we should be seeing ourselves going a little bit faster once we gain the speed here. Doesn't look like it's that much faster between the, the final gears. That or I could be totally doing something wrong, too. Who the hell knows? 
once we hit that final gear, it stops sounding weird. All right, well, there we go. We're going about 34, so like I said, the goal, though, is to uh, try and see if we can survive a tsunami with this thing. So we have this great button here that says Spawn Tsunami. Don't know where it's gonna come from, but I wanna see if we'll survive it. So I guess we just wait. Okay, maybe, maybe that's just a giant island. No, we, I mean, we don't have any giant. Whoa, what is, that is a wave. Holy crap, okay. That's way bigger than I thought. I thought it'd be like little waves going up to a big wave like this. Are we gonna be able to do it? Now I know if you're going on a wave, you wanna go right at it. You don't wanna go sideways because then you're just gonna flip. That's the only thing I know about riding waves and boats. So we're gonna go straight for it. See if we can survive this thing. Holy crap. We might be good though. We're a pretty big boat. Ride that wave, man. Oh, we're sinking the back. Oh, we might be sinking. I, it's hard to tell. I don't know. Oh God. Oh, Jesus. Maybe we should have slowed down a bit. God, we just jumped the wave. Oh my God, and a perfect landing. Okay, I didn't expect that to go smoothly. It kinda did. I kinda did a freaking trick in a giant boat. All right, guys, and on that, I think we're gonna wrap up this episode of Storm. What the hell's that noise? Doesn't matter. The boat's broken. That's the whole point of this thing. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stormworks. Now, I actually didn't show you. There's actually a new Arctic biome in this game. Um, which recently came out, and I do want to check out that as well, so let me know what you guys think of this. I personally really love this game, and I would love to do some more missions, uh, with maybe your guys' creations. You can actually customize the missions yourself as well, so if you guys have any, uh, creations in this game, feel free to send them to me, whether it be email, Discord, whatever you want, and, uh, yeah, I'll be sure to check them out. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.